No, no, it's okay. You can come in. <laughs> Quite a party, huh? Yeah, yeah. My parents really know how to put together a soiree. Invite some of the most snide people in the whole country just to gawk at each other's wealth and achievements and accomplishments, all having to do with some kind of money. <sighs> some kind of ownership. I'm sorry, it's not polite of me to ramble on. Is everything all right, Captain? Do you need something? War is imminent? What? <laughs> he was just checking on me. That's awfully sweet of you. I've been... I've been just fine. <laughs> I just needed a moment to get some fresh air. Yes. Yes, I'm quite alright. I hope it's... Not too much. The party. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I think so, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, I um, never got to thank you for taking me horseback riding the other day. It was wonderful. That path you found was amazing. I know, it was amazing. The ocean was so beautiful. Thank you. Seriously. It really meant a lot to me. Getting fresh air and getting the hell out of this place. I guess we should be heading back before. People think when people start to get suspicious. Oh my god, are you blushing, Captain? <laughs> Aww. Did I make you blush? Aww. <laughs> no, but seriously, get out. Seriously, let's go. Come on. My parents are gonna kill us. Come on. Yes, yeah, the economy has taken a dip, hasn't it? Yes, I can't believe she's made it this far. I can't believe he's made it that far in office as well. <laughs> it's only a matter of time now before they get busted, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> hello, Captain. No, um, I do not mind at all, do you, sir? <laughs> Excuse us. Thank you. God, if I had to talk about the economy or politics one more time, I'm going to lose it. Thank you. Seriously. You see me. <laughs> wow. Since when did you learn how to dance? I thought you were busy training all the time. <laughs> oh. I mean, it is proper etiquette. <laughs> Quite good. If I do say so myself, of course. <laughs> so, how's your night? It's been alright. It's been alright. It's kind of a boring party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know that I'm supposed to be dancing with people my parents are trying to force upon me. I'm sorry, set up with me. But I'm really comfortable just being right here. <laughs> being with you. Cuddling with you and just being with you. <laughs> because I don't have to worry. I don't have to pretend to be some socialite. I just, I can be the dumb self I am. <laughs> no, I know I'm not dumb. I was just making a joke. <laughs> if I were to choose? I mean, is there really such a thing as a perfect guy? I mean, <laughs> if it were up to me and... Ugh, I know it's never going to be. I want someone who was a hard worker. Someone who was loyal. Someone who really fought for what they believed in. 
Even if that belief is stupid and crazy. <laughs> Captain. Uh, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, hello, sir. Yes, uh, of course, I'll be right there. Excuse me, Captain. Enjoy your night. Uh, yes, get home safe. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yes, of course. I'll think about it. I'll definitely think about it. Have a good night. Bye. <sighs> Finally. Uh, thank the lords above. I thought they would never leave. Hello, Mrs. E. My feet are just killing me. These shoes that my parents bought me, though very pretty to look at, do not feel pretty on my feet, so I'm going to go change. I'll be right down to help you out before I go to bed. How's that? Uh, no, no, I insist. Okay, now go on. I'll be right in. <laughs> oh, hello, Captain. Why are you up so late? I mean, I understand why I am, but... I thought you would have retired by now. <laughs> Such a noble thing for you to say. You know, then you don't retire until I do. <laughs> Sweet of you. I'm going to go upstairs and change into something a little bit more comfortable. As I'm sure you heard. And then I'm going to help out for a little bit, then retire for the night. If you must know. Yes, Captain? What I was saying earlier? Walk with me. Come on. Walk me to my room. I'll explain it to you. What I was saying earlier was that... I really didn't care for any of those suitors, those sirs, those people. I didn't care for any of them. And to be honest, I haven't worried about other people for a long time. It's been a while. Because I don't think I need any of them. Because I, I'm pretty sure I found the right person. And I wasn't even looking. <laughs> they just happened to be there. Always at the right place. Always at the right time. Phil, excuse me. Have a good night, Captain. <sighs> All right, Mrs. E, go to bed, sleep in, and I'll see you in the morning. How's that? Okay. Because you're the best, and you know it. Good night, sweet dreams. See you in the morning. <laughs> uh, Captain, you're still waiting by my door. Can I help you with something? What did I mean earlier? You still don't understand? You still don't get it? <sighs> Captain, you were the only person I wanted to talk to all night. You're the only person that made me genuinely comfortable in their presence. 
above all else. You always make me feel so comfortable. You're always challenging me to do stuff. Horseback riding, archery, hunting, swimming. Just challenging me to do new things and it's, it feels amazing. You know, I feel adventurous. I feel born anew when I'm with you. And I know that. And I know what I feel isn't technically allowed, but... I can't help but fall for you. Though, thinking about it realistically, you and I have a better shot of being together than anyone else, because I'm like fourth in line for the throne. So, we got a while. I don't mind taking a risk for you, because you've done the same with me so many times. And I know that you want to talk about this more, because, you know, this is kind of crazy and new, but I'm really tired. <laughs> it's been a long night, and I just want to lay down. <laughs> Wouldn't you care to join me? I have a feeling this conversation is just getting started. So what do you say? Are you coming in? I guess you would know more than I would, huh? <laughs> oh, hello, Captain. Fancy seeing you here. How can I help you? Oh, my, my father has insisted I start my archery training, huh? Well, splendid. <laughs> would you mind if I finished up in here really quick and then met you outside uh, next to the stables? I just really want to get this bread right. <sighs> I know, I've been trying and trying for weeks, and I just can't get it right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to stay, if you wish, Captain. Or if you'd like to help, I could always use a lending hand. We could always use a nice, strong set of hands around here. Isn't that right, ladies? <laughs> Great. Alrighty, so here's what you're going to do. <sighs> Thanks for helping out. It really did help speed up the process. And after we're done with our archery lesson, we can go back and get that amazing bread that we both made. I'm sure from the look on both of the girls' faces, we're going to be okay. <laughs> okay, so... What exactly do you want to start with? I am very aware of archery, but apparently my father needs my father feels the need for me to hone in my skills. Oh, okay. Okay. Well then here, pass me a bow and arrow. Just pass it. Yeah, just thank you. How's this? Oh, okay. Shoulders back. Head up. Eyes on the target. A deep breath. Chest out. Chest back in. And exhale, release. <laughs> Bullseye. I don't see why I need to hone in that amazing skill already. So, 
What could I have done differently, Captain? What do you think my father could have potentially made me do differently? Because you know nothing is ever good enough. Oh, my feet weren't correct, huh? I needed to have my front foot that way instead of facing that way. Oh my god. So pretentious. Okay. All right, I'll try it again. Hmm? Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll move my hand up like this. And, um... I'll, uh... Uh, uh, I'll, uh... Uh, shoulders back, chest out, head up. <laughs> and... Well, that one wasn't as close to as my other one. Yeah, <laughs> I was a little distracted on the draw, I guess. <sighs> okay. All right, I'll just try it again. Okay, come on. Let's try it again. Shoulders back, head up, feet facing that way. And... Whew. Good workout for today. I'm pretty sure I got a lot in. I mean, I kept hitting bullseyes after that first one. Come on, Captain. Can you just give me your seal of approval? I've literally mastered your technique, my father's technique, the the winner of the archery tournament's technique. I've, I've mastered them all. Come on. Our bread is probably ready. I don't know if that sweetens the deal or not. Okay, 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 let's do it. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. You're right. It wasn't too watery. Why Why is that the consistency that works? Like, I don't understand. It's like sorcery or something. It's amazing. No, it tastes really well, doesn't it? Oh, come on, Captain. Smile. Oh, it tastes amazing. Do you mind if we take this? Thank you so much. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you. No, I'm serious. It's actually pretty good. Not too much salt. I mean, it's taken me weeks to perfect this, but I'm really glad that, you know, you helped me out because I feel like that was probably the missing ingredient. <laughs> uh, you know, Captain, one thing that I love, I've mastered archery, I've mastered horseback riding, I've mastered all these little princessy things, but the one thing that I love most of all is the fact that I can make you blush on call. So much fun. I mean, you've been with me the longest, obviously. That's why I like you so much. My father trusts you for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that's alright, cause, you know, you're always plotting to get me alone somehow. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding! That's my job. <laughs> Ugh. The day is so pretty. I'm glad that I don't have to spend all day indoors with that stupid tutor learning about royal history and my ancestors and all the boring things they did a century ago. <sighs> my ancestors were a bunch of hard workers, weren't they? Just lived a life of luxury one person to the next, had everything handed to them. Didn't learn how to cook, didn't learn how to make stuff, didn't learn how to sing, dance, play an instrument, anything. They were just famous for sitting around. I don't know. I know that uh, my sister is technically next in line for the throne, technically. But I feel even worse for her because she... She's getting married next week. 
Poor guy, she doesn't even know. Never even met. None of us have. She's freaking out. And rightfully so. Though according to her, she thinks that it's gonna happen to all of us girls in the family. It's only a matter of time before it happens to me. At some point my number is gonna be pulled and my father's going to find someone he deems suitable. I've got a lot of time, I guess. Or maybe no time at all. All I know is that my family only cares about keeping its power, keeping its crown. They don't care about all this. Everything that happens outside those doors. Everything that happens outside those walls. I don't want this life. None of us chose this. None of us want this. You know, my sister fell in love with Acrecio. Yeah, the blacksmith in town. Can you believe it? And when she broke the news to him about the engagement, he was heartbroken. Pretty sure he still is. Kind of scary for the blacksmith to be, you know, angry and upset. Maybe a little belligerent. I mean... She did pick an opportune moment to tell him right in the middle of a, you know, project he was working on. But hey, you know, he can always recover that scrap metal somewhere else. <laughs> I'm just... Scared. You know? I know it's not... Gonna happen anytime soon, but... I just feel like I don't know nowadays. I'm perfectly happy just being here. Being able to look up at the sky, see the trees, hear the birds. Be able to help out in the kitchen, be able to help out around the castle. Be able to go into town and talk to the villagers. Get some tea or something from the local cafe. Just... Something more than just what's in front of us, what's in front of me. My father would kill me if he heard me talking like this. Could you please not tell him, Captain? I I know it kind of goes without saying, considering you were like a diary to me. <laughs> you know all of my secrets. You know me better than anybody does. You're the only person my father allows me to talk to, aside from the wait staff. You're the only person my dad trusts to go and accompany me out and around. You're the only person I trust to accompany out and around. Because you don't look at me like a princess, you know? You, you just want to take care of me. want to make sure that I'm doing what's best for me. What's best for my father. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've talked to you off. <sighs> I'm gonna head back to my room. I, I'm sure my father is missing me for some kind of lesson or something. Captain, I... I really want to thank you for taking care of me all this time. And I want you to know that when that day comes that my hand will be taken from me and pledged to another, I want you to know that I'm sorry. That it's not my intention. That I'd much... I... I'd much... I know I've said too much. If I said anymore, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Just know that I care about you. And as much as you want to see me happy, I want to see you happy as well. I guess I'll learn. It's 
what I've been doing my whole life. I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I hope that you'll continue to stay by my side. Protect me. Because I, I think I'm going to need you around most of all. Thank you, Captain. You really have been so much to me. And I'm sorry for causing you all this trouble all the time. <laughs> I know it can be kind of frustrating to deal with at times. What's wrong? Hey, calm down, calm down. What? What's wrong, Mina? My father? What's to see me and the captain right away? Okay, that sounds like everything's gonna be fine, right? Yeah, no. Uh, you and I are dead. Let's go, come on. Hello, father. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, Dad, you know that we were out. Oh, come on, Dad. We were out at the archery range. I was kicking butt, getting bullseye after bullseye. I don't know what work you want me to do on my technique. It's perfect the way it is. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, but I thought her... Betrothed wasn't supposed to be here for another week. Younger b brother? What? Fa <sighs> Me? D Father, are you- are you insinuating when I think you're insinuating? You want me to marry... My sister's fiancé's younger brother? Next week? No, let, let go of me. Let go of me. Father just finished telling me that we're getting married next next week. <laughs> Apparently, the family that uh, my father is planning to marry my sister to has been very powerful in the war. We just took down another two, two villages, <laughs> and apparently they're on a pretty bloodthirsty route, so my father suggested that not one, but two of his daughters be offered as a way of showing good faith between 
between our village and there. He's just honestly trying to draw enough attention to let other people know that we are allies with the most powerful militia in the war. <laughs> <laughs> he said to arrive one week from today <laughs> and then we my sister and I go to Chitterell to get married and to live there forever with my my husband <laughs> the, the brother <laughs> apparently is an imperial guard and he's well on his way to becoming a captain, a commander, a king. <sighs> They're just trying to secure new territories so that they can place more of their family across the map, across the valley. <laughs> My father just wants to make sure that our family gets a piece of the treasure, right? He's <laughs> just trying to cover his, his own butt. <laughs> well, uh, I guess what's done is done. I guess I should also consider it an honor. Seeing as that it's for the venture of peace, I should be grateful that I was chosen for such a grand honor. Right. Right. Now if you'll excuse me, Captain, I have to go begin preparations for the wedding with my sister. Good day. My dear sweet children, you are getting more amazing by the minute. Now darling, don't be afraid to lean into those notes. Like really lean in, like this. Thank you, my lovelies. <sighs> I know you'll all play very beautifully at the ceremony. <laughs> you make me so proud. Now run along. I must be off to get my dress. <laughs> I'm a little scared. You're right. Why should I be scared? He is a guard. And he'll keep me and all of us here safe. You're right. I really don't have anything to worry about, do I? <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> now go on. you so much, Captain. <laughs> uh, I'm just so clumsy, I didn't even see that step. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me stand up. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yes, this is the... This is the dress. I didn't want to see it, so I had them place it in this chest. I could <sighs> look at myself without crying. It's silly, right? I'm getting married. <laughs> I should be happy. Not sad. Maybe in time I will be happy. I guess I'm just tired. Yeah. Could you help me with the dress? Please. Thank you, I'll accompany you. Yeah, just put it over there. Right there in the corner. That's fine. Perfect. Thank you, Captain. Good night. Hmm? The violin? <laughs> That's right. I forgot. You used to listen from the other side of the wall when I practiced. <laughs> I've always loved the sound of a violin. It makes me feel free when I play it. really does make me feel free. Yeah. Yes, good night, Captain. Thank you. Hello, Captain. How do I look? Is my veil on correctly? <laughs> Moments ago, my father came in and gave me this little box. Apparently it belonged to my mom. This was the veil that she wore when her and dad met. Beautiful, isn't it? Just drapes across my face, nice and perfectly. I asked if my sister was getting one similar, or what was going to be the story. My father said that, of course, she had one custom made. Apparently, this one wasn't good enough. But look at it. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. It's mom's. Would you mind helping me fasten it? It's slipping just below my ear. Just above my ear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Whew. Can you tell I'm nervous? Yeah, I'm meeting the man I'm going to be spending the rest of my life with. Not every day that happens. <sighs> At least the village is excited. They've been screaming and cheering for hours, just waiting for their arrival. They're going to be at the main gate in, well, any moment. Yeah, we should probably start heading out there, shouldn't we? Hmm? Am I not moving? Are you sure? Okay, well, <laughs> might need a little help. <laughs> uh, thank you. All right. One last look. Everything good? <laughs> thank you. It's very sweet of you to say. You look very dashing yourself. Look at you, pulling out the new threads just for me. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Let's get down there. Woohoo! <laughs> Greetings, my dear princess. I have waited many a month to meet you. You are even more beautiful than the letter could describe. Oh. I am Sir Calatus Talarum, commander of the Imperial Army of Shataral. A pleasure to finally meet you. Please, <laughs> the pleasure is completely mine. My sister and I welcome you to our village. We hope that the journey wasn't too treacherous. Hope you didn't run into any snowstorms. Ah, this must be your guard. Yes, of course. They have been with me since I can remember. Captain? Again, a pleasure. It's true what they say. She really has been in good hands. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done. I don't mean to impose, but... Would you mind terribly escorting my brother and I, along with these beautiful ladies, to the castle? <laughs> I know her father is waiting for us. Plus, these crowds are getting a little too close to us for my comfort. Of course they will. It's fine. We're just going back to the castle. Would you relax? Thank you. After you, my lady. Thank you. My, this garden is absolutely exquisite. The villagers say that it's because of my mother's love that keeps these flowers in bloom every single season, even during the harshest of conditions. It's just a very lovely reminder of her. She passed during the last war, unfortunately. But it's all right. We still have this beautiful garden, and as long as these flowers are here, she'll always be here. The one back home is nothing as close to the beauty and brightness of all these colors. You can smell the different flowers in bloom among the breeze, the sounds of the birds flying through the trees. Each one of these petals and the leaves grow individually, reaching out to brighten the lives of those who look upon them. The rose bushes were the ones that I planted. Ugh, there's so many. <laughs> I need to come out here and take care of them. Thank you. I've been meaning to pick one of these. <laughs> Much like the rose, your beauty can be dangerous. I can already tell you're a woman who keeps her head held high for all to see. Someone who loves to challenge the norm of what your people think a royal is. You will make an excellent queen, I'm sure of it. <laughs> <gasps> Captain! How dare you? Of course he's aware of sheathing his weapon in front of a woman. He is also a noble. Your guard sure cares an awful lot about you. I am so sorry about that, sir. It was completely out of line for them to act the way they did. It's noble. Someone who goes to great lengths to protect the one thing they care about. It's what makes a great guard. Yes, well, thank you for being so understanding. If you'd like, we can continue the tour. I'm sure you've heard of our family's very famous library. It's got all different kinds of novels, poems, and different anthologies. It's really quite a sight, especially considering that there's an amazing and beautiful stained glass window that when the light hits it just right, it lights up the room. As much as I have heard about your castle's beautiful library, 
I've heard that you can play the violin more beautifully than a bird's song. Oh. <laughs> you heard about that, huh? I would love to hear it. If the lady wouldn't mind, of course. Captain! I would consider it an honor to be able to play for you. Captain, would you please escort us to the library? That's where I have my music. Thank you. This way, sir. I'd be very honored, my lady. Please, after you. <laughs> My lady, would you mind giving your guard and I a minute? I just remembered there are some important business details to discuss regarding the wedding. We shall be inside in a moment. Of course, sir. I'll just be inside, whenever you two are ready. Now, I appreciate everything you're doing for my lady so far. But just so you know, that after our wedding she'll have all the protection she will ever need. She'll always be protected by her king. I will love her, and make sure that she is cared for. I know this is all sudden, but hear me when I say this. She will no longer be needing you. Now, let's go inside and smile like this conversation was at all pleasant. After all... This isn't about us. Whenever you're ready, my dear. I'm eager to hear what beauty lies inside your soul. It's as if the heavens themselves opened up and blessed us with your beauty. You truly are magnificent, my dear princess. You truly are too kind, sir. <laughs> when we're married, I will ensure that you're able to play as much as you'd like. Perhaps a small outlook in the garden, so your sound can resonate all across the village. It may even make the garden more vibrant. Thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. You're very welcome, my dear. And as much as I would love to hear another, your father, my brother, and I have some plans to discuss. Oh, my goodness. Is it that time already? I will see myself to his study. Of course. I will see you at dinner, my darling. Farewell, sir. Until then. Make sure she is comfortable while I am gone. What is your problem? We're supposed to be welcoming these people. What is with you? You've drawn your sword more times today than I think I've ever seen in my life. What is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> You don't like him? It, that's obvious. But it doesn't matter. We have to be nice to these people. Come on, Captain. I thought... I thought you would be, you know, better than this? Yeah, better than this. Your behavior today has been really, really out of line. Tell you what. If I need something, how about I signal to you, okay? 
no, I'm not just going to push you aside. But we have to be nice to these people. We have to play their game. Besides, he's not like anything I expected. He's charming. He's sweet. And the way he looks at me... I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen that look before. It feels good. You know? <laughs> Makes me feel special. Now tonight, we are all going to be sitting down to dinner. Okay? Please, please behave. Thank you. Now come on. We better get going. Father's gonna start to wonder. Your family is lovely. My brother and I are lucky to have been welcomed by them. It is our pleasure to receive you and your brother. We've heard great things about your family, and again, are incredibly happy that you're here. I also hope you'll excuse my baldness earlier today. I didn't mean to be rude or overstep my boundaries at all. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Please. It's completely alright. I, I should also apologize for my guard's behavior. It's been anything but cordial, sir. I know we just met, but would you mind calling me Kaleidus? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Kaleidus. I am Vixie. Vixie. A beautiful name for my future queen. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's a bit much as well. I'm rather excited about this whole arrangement. <laughs> it's sweet of you to say. Admittedly, I was scared. When my father told me I was marrying a princess from the same village as my brother, it was hard not to feel like a second choice. Uh, don't I know it. My sister's Miss Perfect. Always gets what she wants. Her own horse, her own archery range, and now her own kingdom. Then I saw you, <laughs> standing there when I jumped off my horse. There was something about you that made me feel safe. Like I had nothing to worry about anymore. All from just looking at your beautiful eyes. Now all I want to do is stare into them. Take you in my arms and tell you that I will do everything I can to keep you safe. Kaleidus. Vixie. Uh, yes, May I look upon your face completely? Oh, um, isn't that... I know we're not supposed to until the day of the wedding, but given our circumstance... I, I... Maybe we can... <gasps> Captain! I order you to stand down immediately. There is no excuse for... <laughs> You're right. Why bother with tradition if we cannot abide by it? Kill I, I mean... Sir, I... I'm so sorry about this again. This is good night, my di... I mean, Vixie. Would your guard mind showing me where I will be staying? I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course. It's the least they can do. I hope you sleep well. Until tomorrow. You too. Kalaitis. <laughs> I'm getting pretty tired of you getting in my way. I do admit I went too far with the veil, but remember whose hand you're grabbing and pushing around, you commoner. So for now, I'm going to leave you with a small warning. For some reason, if Vixie sees something special in you, soon she'll see she's better off without you. <laughs> Good night, God. Sleep well. Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity. I'll be sure to take this with me to our new village. And I'm sure it'll make them very happy. Thank you.
Thank you, of course. Yes, thank you. Yes, do not worry, ma'am. I will take great care of your princess. She is indeed one of a kind. Thank you for your generosity. May you and your family be blessed. Have a good day. Bye. Ah, my dear Vixie. I believe that should be enough for today. I think you're right. The sun is starting to set, and we need to rest for our trip tomorrow. My brother and I will escort you and your guards back to the castle. Alright. Sounds perfect. After you, sir. <laughs> We must start packing for the journey to Shataro. We shall depart at dawn. I will go for the evening and get the carriage for us. So when you wake, everything will be ready. Thank you. And when we arrive, we will be married. Of course. Captain, please make sure she is comfortable for the evening. I will leave you two to say your goodbyes. Um. Goodbyes? <laughs> what do you mean by that, sir? We're not saying goodbye to each other. They're coming with me. Why would they join us? I have an entire army at my disposal to ensure your safety. I know you have an entire militia at your disposal to keep me safe, but I don't know any of those people. You may trust them, but I do not. So, whether you like it or not, they're joining us. But my princess- No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're joining me. They've been with me through thick and thin for years now. And I'm not going anywhere that they're not going. You're right. You should feel comfortable in your own home. Thank you. I will allow your guard to join us and accompany you as long as you see fit. Thank you. Now, my princess, let's not argue. It's a celebration after all. Of course. Now, I'll leave you both to finish packing, my love. Thank you. Good night, sir. Did you hear that? He's gonna let you join us. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. You hate him. I know, you hate him. <laughs> it's obvious the two of you don't like each other. Ah. <laughs> oh. What do you mean, why am I laughing? Are you kidding me? Did you hear what he just said? He's going to let you. <laughs> Please. That man thinks he has any authority over me. He is surely mistaken. <laughs> Especially when it comes to you. I'm not leaving you behind. Like I said, I don't go anywhere you don't. Now come on, we gotta get packing. Tomorrow morning we start our new life. I guess I've been dreaming about this day for so long. I guess I just figured it'd be under different circumstances. You know? Guess not. No point in no, no point in reminiscing about the past. Doesn't matter now. Got our future to look forward to. Okay, Captain. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Please, 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 just at least the both of you make it there, you know? Just make it there. Don't you sass me, I'm making sure that the both of you know this. Good night, Captain. Sleep well. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. You were never going to be left behind. Not if I have anything to say about it. Good night, Captain. Sleep well. <laughs> Thank you for helping us load up, Captain. 
and I apologize if I was presumptuous before. I was assuming that you weren't coming with us. I know my love cares a great deal about you, and if she trusts you, then I do as well. Keep your wits about you. There may be dangerous obstacles on the path. If we're all ready, let's go to Shitaro. <laughs> We're going to need to speed up in order to keep up with the others. I can barely make anything out in the snow. We need to find shelter. The storm is too powerful. Everyone hold. Don't. Move. Captain, get Vixie to safety. We passed the cave not too far back. Hurry. What's... what's happening? What's happening? Uh, uh, what? Uh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, go, go, go! It's just my foot. Ah. How bad is it? I didn't have time to think. I just stabbed him with my rapier. Okay. Captain, no, not your cape. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Don't blame yourself for this. There's nothing and no one that could have prevented this. It's okay. It hurts, but it's okay. It's okay. Look at me. It's okay. Really, it is. I'm gonna be fine. Calidus, Calidus, what about? Uh, uh. I know, I know you don't like him, I know. But now is not the time. He was the only one that got us out of that situation. You have to admit that. <laughs> and now we're just gonna leave him alone? No, oh, you're right. There's no use in, no use in wearing myself out. Already feeling faint as it is. Uh, 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 uh. Could you, Captain? I feel really cold. Could you please hold me? Please, it's so cold. Especially, I. I. everything that we were going to end up here. What do you mean, what do I mean? My number has been called, just like I said. Like I said, I just thought I'd be under the different circumstances. <laughs> I remember 
remember how you and I started. When you first started working for me all those... All those years ago. <laughs> we were out and about, my mother, my sisters, and I, in the courtyard. She was showing us that it's okay for royalty to still be relatable to people. <laughs> so, as we were wandering around, you were latched at my side. You didn't really know what to do, but you knew that it was something important. I remember we were passing by a garden. Yeah, the village garden. Well, it's grown exponentially since back then, but I remember back then there wasn't much to it. Maybe a couple of vegetables here and there. A couple of rose bushes that my mother helped plant. You saw one of the f one of the buds had fallen, so you picked it up. You dusted it off, and you you gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's just the breeze. It's okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought that back then you were so adamant to protect me, even when we were just kids. Even you were just a kid. <laughs> you just showed up in our lives one day. And my mother told me that it was 100% okay to trust you. Who would have thought that? You were so adamant to protect me even back then. <laughs> you were just kids. You showed up into our lives out of the blue. did everything you could to take care of me. You still do everything you can to take care of me. Please don't blame yourself. Yeah, I'm just a little cold. There you are. I'm glad you found it okay. Calidus. Vixie. What in the name of the gods happened to you? Oh, I'm alright, really. Really, I'm alright. You're not alright, your foot is bleeding. Yes, I am. How did this happen? Uh, it was one of the wolves. They latched onto my foot and I had to, well, stab him. You call yourself a guard. Calidus. How could you be so Calidus. careless? She could have been- Calidus! Stop. Please. It's not their fault. It's no one's fault. Please, don't blame them. There's nothing that anybody could have done. Please, don't blame them. They did everything they could to protect me, and they got me here, didn't they? This is no one's fault, much less theirs. You're right, my love. Calidus. The important thing is that you're safe. What about you? Oh no, I'm fine. Just a couple of scratches. If you're sure. Listen, we need to start a fire. Your guard and I will go and find wood and anything else we can burn to keep us warm. You're right. We need to do whatever we can to hold out as long as we can. If the two of us go, we can ensure we don't get lost. You have your dagger if something happens. We won't be gone long. I'll wait for you. Be safe. Please just go. I'm gonna be fine. Please just go, okay? Go with him. Please. It's not just for his safety, it's yours as well, okay? Don't be a know-it-all right now. Please, just go. We'll be back faster. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry if I insulted you earlier. It was out of line for me. When I saw Vixie hurt, my head became foggy. I was so angry that I wasn't there to protect her. And seeing her there, wrapped in your arms, her foot wrapped in your cape, being comforted by your touch, 
it made me see red. Then I saw something. You were scared also. You almost lost the one thing you care about most in the world. You are losing the one thing you care about the most in the world. Not even fairly given a chance to try and fight for her. And you're scared that she's going to fall for me. She is falling for me, isn't she? I can see it when she smiles at me. I know you're scared. Because I'm scared of the same thing. I'm scared she's going to run away with you. And never look back. Don't you see why I didn't want you coming with us? Because I don't trust you. Because you're going to take her away from me. Because you love her. I don't know what this thing is. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from her. In our excitement, we forgot the wood. I remember where it is, so I shall return shortly. Calidus. Please stay safe until I return. I know, I, I just, uh, I couldn't see him. Is you? I know it was a person. From the weight of their hand, a man. What would, what would a man be doing out here in the middle of a snowstorm? You're right, could possibly be a looter, but I mean... I guess everybody knew about this, didn't they? I was crossing this path. I guess even bandits have their ears open, don't they? Captain, are you sure you're okay? He didn't hurt you, did they? He didn't hurt you, did he? You two were gone an awfully long time. Was everything all right? There was a fight. Captain, what do you mean there was a fight? Heated words. Wait, you started it? Wait, you started it? You swung at him? Captain. I don't... I don't understand. I know you don't like him, but I thought at least you'd show a little bit of respect, especially since I fought so hard for you. Even though I knew you were always coming with me, I knew I had to be prepared for that he was going to try and convince me to leave you behind. And I fought for you. I continue to fight for you. I fought for you for my 
I fought for you with my father. I fought for you with my mother. I fought for you with my apparently future betrothed. Why? Why are you so heated about this? Why I know? Why am I not heated about this? You don't think I am? You don't think that I hate this? That I have to put on this perfect princess persona for this guy? I have no idea who this person is. Whether or not they're even a friend to our village. To my people. And yet, I thought that you would be there to support me. But I... I... Captain... Captain, I'm... How is she? Are you alright? You took quite the fall after that thing tackled you. Have either of you ever seen that person before? Did you see their face? Glowing eyes. Are you sure? That's bizarre. I have never seen it in all my time traveling through this path. So... Did you tell her about... You said you started it? <laughs> I guess she just attracts people like us. I would have said the same. I won't tell her about your feelings, though. I can't say it does me any good to know. Can I tell you a story? I was honestly terrified of coming to her village meeting the woman that I was going to be spending the rest of my life with, and I didn't even know her name. My father insisted that it would join our families as allies, although, to be honest, I'm not doing it for him. He's a horrible person. Do you know that he beats his kids and his wife? Growing up, I thought of running away and finding a new home and a new village, but I always knew that I would be hunted. I'd never be safe. My mother would never be safe. That was my biggest fear. Leaving her alone with him. I was the only one who could protect her. I can't imagine someone being able to live with themselves if they left knowing that there was someone hurting their family. My mother told me stories of how the Queen of Princess Vixie's village was a woman who enjoyed welcoming in children who have been abandoned or needed to be rescued. How they are given jobs and a home to stay in, how they can come and go as they please, but many have stayed. Vixie, in many ways, seems just like her mother, wouldn't you agree? Taking in the strays of the world and making them feel like they have a safe place. I'm sure you felt the same way when you first saw her in the courtyard all those years ago. When you gave her that little rose, I'm sure you were thinking that this was going to be the start of something different. A life where you would keep her safe to make up for the woman you failed. But there's something else you're hiding. I'll find out what it is, and when I do, I promise you I will expose you for the coward you are. Someone who abandons their family does not merit the title of a guard, much less to a noble of Vixie's caliber. The storm is starting to let up. I'll take Vixie and get her into the carriage so we can keep going without disturbing her slumber. If I were you, I'd cover the back end and try not to make too much noise. Let's go.
Finally. Here we are, my love. Welcome to Shataral. This is where we will be having our ceremony, and after, you will stay here as my troops make the final pass into what will be our new kingdom. It's customary in our village for the locals to throw a big festival on the streets to honor the new royal union. You will meet my people. You will be staying in the room next to mine. As for your guard, there's an empty room across from yours in order to make sure you're safe. Let me help you to the room so you can rest. <laughs> I'll have my nurses come by to help bandage your foot. Thank you, Calidus. <laughs> and in this room is where my father my brother and I come to discuss different strategies and other important business with him. Yeah, I'm fine. I was built by I'm fine. Fifth great grandfather. It stings, but I'm okay. Now that we're out of the cold, you know, it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> I'll be fine. Come on, just help me. Yeah? <laughs> help me. Thank you. Put your arm around my face. Thank you. There we go. No, 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 no. I'm fine. <laughs> just wanted to... Get my guard to help me out a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead, continue, please. Commander, I'm relieved to see that you made it safely. I wanted to let you know that the town is calm and eager about tomorrow's festivities. Very good, Simu. I will send you to make sure that the village is prepared for tomorrow's celebration. But first, meet my future queen. This is Princess Vixie and her loyal guard. My love, this is Simu, my info broker and my second in command of the Imperial Guards here on Shataral. He will be accompanying me after our wedding to ensure victory in our battle, and will also be helping us during the ceremony preparations to ensure both of our safety. An honor to meet you, my lady. I'm here to serve you in whatever you may need, and with you giving our commander strength, we'll be able to conquer any territory. An absolute pleasure, Simu. You know, you keep mentioning this village that you plan on conquering after our wedding. <laughs> which, which village is that, if I'm allowed to know? The village of Solastesia, one of the valley's oldest villages. The royal lineage is okay. just about through, considering the king has no children. With our plans, Victory is assured and will be quick. We actually have a few more things we need to discuss. If it's no bother for you, my lady, I will retire for tonight. Can your guard escort you back to your rooms for the night? Yes, of course. They're more than capable, of course. <laughs> I will see you both in the morning. Sleep well, my love. Thank you. Of course. Sleep well. Good night. Good night, Simu. Good night. Uh, uh, you know what? Just, just carry me. Just please, just carry me, please. Oh. Hey, are you okay? You kind of tensed up when they mentioned Solastesia. Are you okay? Do you know that place, sir? Sounded familiar, huh? Well, I mean, it is one of the valley's oldest villages. I don't think there's a person alive that doesn't know about it. Especially the history that's become of that poor, poor village. I wanted to lend a hand, as my mother did in the past, but after she passed, my father cut off all communications with them. see her with my mother. She seemed like such a nice person. They seemed like the best of friends. Then one day, poof, they were gone. 
She didn't even come to the the burial of my mother. I don't know what's become of Solastesia, but it can't be good if Calidus is so confident that I'll be able to conquer it in a day. Have they really given up that much? Have I really been so blind? Could I have done more? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter now. Could we ruling it at one point anyways? <laughs> maybe maybe then I can help. By the gods, it's not the way that I would have wanted, but anything to help those poor people, right? And that poor family. Those poor nobles. I know that the king has never had children. No one really knows why. The queen, they just thought her infertile. So, from what I heard, she just spends most of her time in her room. The king barely even looks at her. She feels so useless, I can imagine. <sighs> Those poor people, a poor woman, Sheesh, that poor village. I don't know what's going to happen. But I know that whatever happens now, I will make sure that those people are cared for. That those people are safe. Even if I'm not allowed to be on the battlefield, I want to make sure that everybody's Oh, <laughs> hello. Yes, please, enter. It's okay. <laughs> oh, yes, they're my guard. Please. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm? Where are you going? Okay. That's fine. If you need to take a walk, take a walk. Just don't go too far, okay? might need you later. <laughs> I might need you as a crutch later. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit. Yes, of course. Ah! We should be able to gain an advantage if we enter through this path. We shouldn't need much force considering the villagers are already scared of any newcomer. Anyone could be a threat to them in their kingdom. We will need to push through the Solastesia guards, and they're pretty tough. As long as we stick together, we will get through and get a little one-to-one -one time with His Highness. The king has been waiting for someone to come bursting through the gates since his precious queen has locked herself away in shame. All she ever does is cry, breaks the whole village's heart. So, this battle should be as good as one. So, you and Vixie seem to be hitting it off. I told you she was beautiful. The princess is even more beautiful than you previously described. Although you didn't tell me about her guard, practically her shadow, there is never a moment they're apart. Ah, oh, so you two have become the best of friends, I take it. It could be worse than you thought before. I know they have powerful feelings for her. But for some reason, they do not raise their hands to me when I make threats. Truly obedient to her, that they would even be passive to the raising of my blade. The princess would never agree to a duel, and even more aggravating that they will be joining us as a part of our new life in Solastesia. Okay, okay, calm down. There's no need to whip yourself into a frenzy for some commoner playing god. Every commoner has a weak spot. That's what separates great gods and those who pretend. 
With you being so short with them, it would be the perfect opportunity for me to get close to them as an ear to gossip to, getting their trust and finding out their weaknesses in the process. If you think you could, as long as you don't reveal our plans. When Father granted me the honor of planning a battle that will be remembered for generations to come, I soon became obsessed. I've spent countless nights dreaming of it. That power. That princess. It'll all be mine. And you shall have all of it. And more, Commander. Much, much more. Everything okay? Captain, are you, are you okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. <sighs> you sure you're okay? <laughs> you just came to check in on me? Yes, that scream was because the... You know. Poured a little bit of alcohol in my foot and it hurt. Excuse me for, you know. It not being the most ladylike scream, but... Come here, let me stab you in the foot with your sword, and then when they pour the alcohol on you, let's see if you scream. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Captain, I'm kidding. <laughs> this castle is huge, right? <sighs> I guess we must rest for the night. We've got a big day tomorrow. I've got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Captain. Can you sit with me for a second? I guess this is just starting to sink in how real this is all getting. That by this time in the next two days I'm going to be a queen. I'm going to be ruling a village that doesn't even belong to me. gonna be taken by boys. And I know that's not what my mother would have wanted for me. And I know that I hope I can at least make her proud. I miss her. I really wish she was here. She would have known you know? <laughs> I'm scared, Captain. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I know that after everything that we've been through, I'm so lucky to have you by my side. <laughs> Thank you, Captain, for protecting me. No, at times it doesn't feel like you did. Trust me, you've done more than you could ever imagine. No, I'm not saying goodbye. Trust me, this isn't a goodbye. You're coming with me. I'm not leaving you here. I'm not leaving you behind. I'm not going anywhere without you. You're the only person in this place that I trust. I'm not even so sure I trust myself anymore. I don't know who I'm becoming. Why I'm even here. I thought it would be such a long time before I had to worry about this. But I guess not.
Thank you for being by my side. There's so much. <laughs> You're going to make an amazing royal guard. Right by my side, just as you've always been. I promise, okay? I'm not going anywhere without you. <sighs> we have to get some rest. It's getting late. And I don't want Calidus to, you know, get you in trouble. <laughs> Good night, Captain. Until tomorrow. troop we could deploy to help clean up the flood damage. After that storm, we were due for a bright and sunny day. Of course, it came at a hefty cost. No matter. I'm sure the guards are doing what they can, and with the help of the other villagers, we might get this festival back on track. I'm sure they'll handle it just fine, Commander. We're doing all we can for the time being. Don't worry, we'll make sure this festival is one of the greatest. Calidus. Calidus. Calidus, Simu, I... Is everything alright? Is the village okay? I heard the commotion this morning, but... I didn't know what to think of it. The guards wouldn't let me go outside, and... Advised me to stay indoors, and... Well, till you got back. Is everything okay? Oh. My. Fixie. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, I forgot I'm wearing the dress for tonight. <laughs> yes, my love. The village is going to be okay. It's the villagers I'm worried about. They were quite panicked, saying the damage from the flood was an omen. An omen? Don't worry. Simu and I did our best to send troops to help and help ourselves. It's a beautiful day and it'd be such a shame to waste. I want to assure that tonight is perfect. Much like this beautiful ensemble you're wearing. <laughs> Fitting for a true queen. <laughs> Thank you, Calidus. Villager's spirits will be pretty heavy after all of this. Commander, I think it's within our best interests as nobles to present some sort of gift to the villagers. Simu is right. We need some kind of gesture from us nobles to them in order to help lift spirits. A gesture? If I may be so bold as to suggest we offer the villages an aria in which to lift them. I'm not mistaken when I say we have true talent among us, and the villages would be able to see the songbird with the violin they've heard so much about. My... my violin? You really think that that would work? That's perfect. Your music could come and enchant the whole valley if they heard you play. My love... You will show the village the beauty of your music. I mean, if it'll help, if it'll help the locals, I'm more than happy to do it. Of course. Simu will escort you to the festival tonight. For now, I will leave you to get ready however you need to. Until tonight. Okay. <laughs> I know you're busy. See you tonight. <laughs> My lady, if you will please follow me, I will take you and your guard back to your room so you may rehearse whatever you need to before tonight. It would be an honor to take you personally to the festival tonight, considering it will be the first of many times I will be watching over you. I'll make sure your guard is backstage for you as well. I know they don't need an escort, but it's my honor. <laughs> Thank you, Simu. It's very thoughtful. But how did you know- Here we are. Now there's a book of arias on the shelf, over by the window. Please choose whichever speaks to you most. Really? 
Any aria that I want? I will leave you for now. Until tonight, my lady. Okay, yeah. I'll get right on that. <laughs> As for you, Commander Calidus has requested that you take him to the stage tonight. It's okay, Captain. Just, you know, indulge him. If Calidus wants Simu to take me, then I don't see why it's any different than you, you know? <laughs> Besides, Calidus wants you for some reason. You should consider it an honor, right? Hint, hint. Trust me, I'm gonna be fine, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Go, 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 go. I got it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some practicing to do. <laughs> I'll see you at the festival. I don't know why he's always doing weird stuff like that. But for some reason, things just tend to work out in the end. I know he's kind of a cold guy, but he means well. I know you care a lot for the princess, and I'll make sure she is handled with the utmost care. I will see you tonight at the festival. My loyal subjects, this festival has been a trial, I know. But thanks to all of your hard work, we were able to continue as planned with our sentence. Tonight, we will be having something a little different. My family and I have a special gift for you. people of Shataral, I present to you my beloved, Princess Vixie. What do you mean they're missing? Sometimes plans change, Commander. I know there are many different questions you have for me as to why I betrayed you, but none of them matter. Your precious princess will not be harmed as long as I get what I want before the sun rises. You and the guard are to meet me where we once met oh so briefly, in the dark with glowing red eyes, remember? I almost had her the first time, but now I finally get what I want. And if, if anyone, anyone else arrives to arrive with, with the, the two, two of you, well, well your, your princess, princess will be split, split into three as well. Tick tock, Tick -tock Commander. Commander, your, your burning, burning moonlight. See Mulade. Damn it all! That double cross will pay for his crimes. How can he be so daring as to take her? And why the hell does he want to see you? I knew I should have had you watch the princess as always. It seemed so strange to me he wanted to mix it up more than usual by having him walk her. I guess we don't have time to argue. We have to get back to that cave and rescue Vixie. I know you'll fight your hardest to save her. Listen. I'm sorry about all of this. Believe me, this is not a part of any plan I've heard of. I can't imagine why Simu wants you. Come on, let's get to the stables and ride before sundown. Was very tricky, so please be on your toes. He didn't rise through the ranks for nothing.
Zemu! Took you both long enough. I swear this woman will not stop running her mouth, screaming every which way. It doesn't matter how many scraps of cloth you shove in her mouth. She just keeps screaming. And you, Commander, have chosen to accept this woman. She's such a handful. Makes sense considering she's such a pretty, pretty princess. If you lay a finger on her, I swear I will- Take one step closer, my dear Commander, and your love will perish by my knife. You see, it's not material things I'm looking for. Whether she lives or dies makes absolutely no difference to me. What I want is that guard of hers. Of course, do you even realize there's a bounty on their head? that has been slowly increasing in size over two decades. A bounty that King and Queen of Celestia sent out in hopes of finding their long-lost child. Their rightful next for the throne. Apparently they were stolen in the night in their childhood bed. But there was not a single trace of them. Sadness reduced the queen to physical weakness as she refused to bear another child for the king. I say she would lock herself in her room and cry all day and sleep all night. Though we both know better. Do you remember that time they visited our village, Calidus? Oh, half her face was covered by a scarf. While well, it slipped in the wind and underneath was a definitive handprint on her cheek. So clear we could see it even at a glance. Her neck was covered as well. Then it all made sense to me. She wasn't locking herself in that room. And her child wasn't stolen. The queen finally did something about her husband's years of abuse. What's to stop someone from continuing the cycle when it was never addressed in the first place? The queen snuck her child in the dead of night and took them to someone they knew they could trust. <laughs> Lovely woman who was known for taking in. Well, let's call them strays. Eventually employing them amongst her guards and assigned them to take care of their most precious possession of all, their youngest daughter, Princess Vixie. A bounty like this could easily set someone up for life. And I finally got you. <laughs> <laughs> So what? You were just going to seek them out and return them home safely? That's a total lie. How dare you make these plans without even mentioning it to me or my father? It was easy to convince your father about anything once he knew that the child of the long-lost Celestia throne was up for grabs. Although he has other plans for them. You see, he wants to take them to the kingdom and publicly execute them. Solidifying the end of their reign and the end of their lineage. So unfortunately, we're going to have to take them alive. For now. I know it won't be easy, but can we try to be civil about all of this? I guess not. Why didn't my father listen to your advice above my consultation? How did you manage to keep this a secret from just me for all these months? Why was I used as collateral for this plan as well? You couldn't have known about this. Your father and I both agreed you were too weak to handle the news. We knew you would fall in love and you did. We knew we couldn't have long before you spilled the information about the plan because you're pathetic. And now... <laughs> you'll take this secret to the grave. father said any means necessary to keep the guard alive. He never said a thing about you. You two aren't going anywhere. I will make sure that you get back to his majesty on time and alive. As for you, princess, you're no longer necessary to me. <coughs> Why did you 
I'm so sorry that this had to happen to you. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. It's okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. It was never my intention to cause you nor your god any harm. I know. I know. I know. I know this wasn't about you. I know. Believe me. I know this wasn't your fault. I'm sorry that I have to ask one more favor of you, guard. Get out of here. What? Hurry before my troops arrive to see all of this. What? No, I'm not leaving you. Not like this. I'll, I'll be fine. No. But you finally have that chance to be free. What? What? Go. Now. No, no. Run! He needs our help, don't you understand? Put me down, you filthy imposter! <clears throat> don't come any closer. How dare you try to comfort me? After everything I just heard. A lost noble? And of soulless Stesia? You, you've lied to me for years. I've trusted you in so much of me. And you couldn't mention this once? How do I know you're not here for my family's throne, huh? How can I trust anything you've told me after you've lied to me? You... You of all people. you become a stranger to me right before my eyes. What do you mean you couldn't tell me? Who... Who was I going to tell? You were the only person my parents trusted me spending time with. All those nights talking. Those hours we just spent walking through town. Does that mean anything to you? You know what? You don't trust me that much. That's fine. In that case, maybe we shouldn't talk at all. Fight me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you. Not quietly, at least. <laughs> you want me to stop this nonsense? You have the audacity to ask me to stop being immature? That ship sailed when you first began to lie to my face. I won't do Those awful things they said, those were true. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that she brought you to save you. I thought you just showed up. You were so different from all the other people that we had. You always... 
for me. You did just bow your head to me. You walked next to me. You comforted me in all my times of need. You've always been there. I'm sorry. I'm so confused. I'm sorry. I shouldn't swing at you. I don't know why. I guess I've been blinded as to why you're even in my life in the first place. my father. Not after all this. He'd never believe that. It didn't have anything to do with you. There's no way he'd believe it. I don't know. But I know that I, I think that you need to return to Solstesia. You need to let your parents know that you are still alive. You are strong. And you are ready to take over the throne and fight for it. You're old enough to go back without fear. And the rest of the village will finally have that spirit back in their hearts. Can you imagine all the armies that must be headed in its direction? If Calidus had its eyes on it, he's not gonna stop. No one is. And with your family being in the situation they're in. You need to think about your people. Your mother. You have to go. I have to face my father. I have to go back. Yeah. There's nothing else I can do. I gotta go back by myself. If I go back by myself, at least that way it looks like when I got separated didn't I? <laughs> that way my father won't come after you at least he'll know that you were my protector in the end <laughs> I you need to go and protect him the village there are people that need you with you to Solstesia. I, 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 Can I be honest with you? I've known. Oh, please, you're not that smooth. My mom even joked about it a couple of times. Yeah, that's how long I've known. I never said anything because, you know, you were working for my family and if they found out about, you know, 
us. You could get exiled or even worse. I liked having you around. And it was worth it considering you've saved my life time and time again. But oh, I can't. How I've loved you all these years. I was able to play along so well with Calidus because <laughs> I was pretending he was you. That you were the one at the end of the aisle. <sighs> That's right. Now we're free. Now I'm free. We can go anywhere we want. I don't have to go back home. Surely, if I go back, I'll be locked away again. But now that I'm out and free, there's no way I'm going back. I'm with you, Captain. you decide. I don't care. Just as long as I'm with you. I'll always be safe. I love you. I cannot believe that that whole series was two hours long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so very much for listening and for getting all the way to this point. I can't thank you enough for being such a big fan of this series. It means the world to me. It's genuinely changed my life in ways that I had no idea were ever possible. I really want to thank Sanctuary Audios and Grim Audios for bringing it with this series. I cannot thank them enough. I kind of threw some stuff at them and they brought back magic. Thank you, wherever you are, for being there for me in this series and beyond. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye lovely. <laughs>